Hi, this is Warner with Warner's Tree Surgery. I'm here today looking at some queen palms. And I want to show you uh, what happened to these when they put the, the bricking in. Uh, this is how they typically look if they're underwatered. So when they were doing the construction here and they put in this, this new brick and probably the, well, I don't know exactly how much, but this used to be a lawn. These used to be in a lawn. So they used to get at least 60 or 70 inches of water a year. And the roots extended out uh, three or four feet. And now they've got that much of an area to get water. And this is what they look like when they're water starved. And the amazing thing is, is that this one still has developed a top. Uh, this one's looking pretty sad. So what we've done for this tree, for these two trees, is we've got the customer started on a correct watering schedule. And he's gonna have to increase the size of, of uh, where the water goes down here the wells and he's going to have to take some bricks out and then he's going to have to get the water up to where in the summertime a tree this size will take at least 30 gallons twice a week and by summer I mean from the 100 degrees in May which is today even though it's only May 6, 2016 to probably the middle of October so when you got your 100 degree heat you need 60 gallons a week. Now it doesn't have to be done weekly. You can do it twice a week. Matter of fact, you don't want to do it weekly. You want to either spread it out over 30 gallons twice a week, or uh, you can water it every day. You can water it twice a day, as long as you're getting the 60 gallon a week total. So however you have to set that up to do it, that's what you would have to do if you were in a situation like this. In addition to this, I've got him on a program of uh, correct uh, feeding and trimming. Uh, the only branches you want to take off of these are the ones that are completely dead. You want to make sure and have whoever does the trimming uh, sterilize their saws with an antibacterial spray like a Lysol kitchen antibacterial, something like that, that will also kill fungus. You spray the tools before you trim the trees. You only take off the dead ones. And if you're going to take these husks off, you make sure they're either pulled off or they're cut off with a knife. You never let anybody want to use a chainsaw on these. And you don't want to have somebody spiking into the tree. Now, what he's going to do is we're going to come out and we're going to treat these now and we're going to treat them again in three months. He is immediately going to start on a program of using the Lutz manganese spikes. He could also use the, if he does the Lutz, he's going to have to do it twice a year. Uh, you'll put them down someplace where they're going to dissolve. If he uses the Moon Valley Super Palm Juice, not the Moon Juice, but the Super Palm Juice, you got to do that monthly. It works too. Either one of those, if you start now, it takes anywhere from six months to a year to get to the top of the tree. The stuff we're injecting will get the manganese, which is what the queen palm uses to fight disease. It will get up to the top of the tree in a couple of weeks. So we do that now. He starts using the stuff he can buy cheap. We come out in three months, do it again, and except for this one palm, which might be a problem, that should do it. He shouldn't need to see us again. Of course, if he wants us to come out yearly once they're healthy, we do that as well. So this is my grandson, Austin. He's putting the caps in uh, the one tree, and those go directly into the tree. They get up to the top of the tree quickly, and these things work better than any other way of doing it that I've found. So that's it. Uh, this is Warner with Warner's Tree Surgery. 
If you've got any questions on any of your trees, give us a call. The number is 480-969-8808. Thank you very much.